Hey howdy YouTube, welcome to my video where I explain about the VLOOKUP function. Uh, the VLOOKUP function tends to confuse people when they first look at it. Uh, let me just start typing it out. So the VLOOKUP function will look at values on the left side of the table. So essentially what it does is you'll, be, you'll give the VLOOKUP function a table. So a table of data could be as small as here, A3 to B11. And you also give the VLOOKUP function a value from the left. So you say 9Y6, and then the VLOOKUP function will receive, will look up, well, will return the column which, which uh, the 9Y6 is located in. Now what I mean by that is if you specify column 2, you'll specify the data along column 2 which is in the same row as in 9y6 so let me do an example so you look at value is going to be in uh, quotations so let me choose one from here let's choose 2r4 so the VLOOKUP function always uses values from the left so you can't use this value, this column you have to use this column. So we type in our lookup code to R4. The table array. This is the table which you want to search the values from. Array just means a set of data really. So to do this you simply highlight the data you have. You don't highlight the, the column headings, you just highlight the raw data. So you proceed, proceed by doing a column. The, sorry, a comma. The column index. This is the column which you want to return the data from. As in, you type in the data on the first column and you want it to return the data on the second column. So, because of that, we're going to type in 2. And next, we have the option to have an approximate match. So, that means if you type in the data and the data is not actually there in the left column it will choose the closest the closest match to it however we're going to do an exact match so we type in false and we close the, you close the VLOOKUP function by closing the brackets so you can see that our wall is returned because it's on the second column it's in this table and it's on row which contains 2R4 on the left side of the data. So you can quite easily change this. So scissors 9u2. 9u2. Now this can be very since it's return scissors. Scissors along here. So this can be very useful especially for businesses as say a product code lookup. So obviously this is quite if we want to change the data it can be quite awkward having to highlight it and select it, etc. But like previous videos we can replace this with a cell. Because it's a cell we can remove the, the quotation marks I, I believe. So if we just type in the data here, say 1A2, it returns sheep. Uh, so let's try this where this where you use approximate approximate match. So say we accidentally typed in nine A five. We'd still receive sheep. But say we change this to a two, we may get a no you still get the same result. Yeah it's received a wall. That's because that is the closest match to the desired result. So you can see the length has to be the same, however the, the actual data does not have to be the same, it's just approximate. Uh, so I hope that you helped you with your lookup function, you just have to remember that this is the data you want to search for, this is the table that you that contains the data, this is the index, the column 
which you want to return and this is whether you want an approximate match or an exact match or not match or not uh, so I hope this video really helped you uh, please leave some feedback and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for and goodbye